So, so, we're worried about Rena, naturally. Yes, I can say I have. And that's not healthy. Give her time. Right. There's a really good message in there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Good man. Pat, 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 pat. Genteel and actorish. It was very, uh... Alright, curry time. Hmm. I kind of get what Keiichi's trying to say there. And even though... Naturally, he had the thought brought up to him. He kind of drew, drew that conclusion on his own, and he might be, he might actually be onto something. That's an interesting thought. That that whole touching scene in the the uh, <clears throat> where are you going in the uh, junkyard? Oh, we're gonna run into Rena in the shopping. Aren't we? Helping Dad with his, uh, his work. <coughs> I thought that that whole impassioned speak about, speech about we're friends opened up to us. We're here for you. That sort of thing. stare at her. Yep. <laughs> what?
stealth runner action. You okay? What was that about? Huh. Just listen quietly. Yeah, no shit. No one told you about that. We know full well this, uh, research now. Some seriously in-depth stuff. Hmm. Parasites, man. Even parasites, dude. It's crazy. Attaboy.
I'll be waiting for it. What? Ooh. White station wagon. Hmm. It's interesting, even though the focus is on Rena now, she seems to be kind of undergoing the same... taking the same path that Keiichi did the first time in Onikik Onikikushi. the feeling of being followed, all the villagers watching, judging. We don't know that about that yet, but... It's... Hmm. <coughs> hmm. How much did we meet Takano in Onikikushi? Hmm. Oh. All right. Oh. Digging this song, also. Focus on the Guardian to protect the village.
I mean, it makes sense why they'd set up a shop at the shrine and everything in the Oe Shudo san is name, but. Parasites. Parasites, dude. I mean, I could throw the explanation out here right now that uh, when we get the crazy eyes, it's the parasite taking over, but there's pl no doubt plenty of evidence to contradict that. So, we just have more theories now. More possibilities. Parasites, man. All right. She really is thinking that, yeah. Yeah, she was. Most likely. That's also a possibility. And that the maggots were real. And all that. Yep, you got that right. Oh! in work uniforms. Because they're all still in the car. You know. Okay.
What? Okay, so I wasn't expecting the whole uh, being tailed thing to be so thoroughly confirmed. Excuses. Yeah, I don't buy that excuse. That's... That's... Huh. That's fucked up. Oh, another takeout list. Sweet. We'll be right back with Mahinga Rashi. Delayed reaction there. But I missed the last one, so... Furthermore, it's important that we closely watch her father. Or what? Since he has also suffered mental shock from the divorce, and has been trying hard to take care of the patient, there's a strong possibility that he may develop an induced... Induced delusional disorder. <clears throat> As the first step in mental care, one should listen to the patient's story carefully without denying it. That's the most basic of basics. However, when the patient and the listener are related, it's easy for the listener to get deeply influenced. <clears throat> and additionally, delusional parasitosis is widely known to make people highly impressionable. And the influence sometimes can spread throughout a whole community. Delusional parasitosis. Huh. Therefore, even if several people claim to acquire a parasitic infection, does it necessarily prove the existence of a parasite? And just prove that the rumor has spread around and taken root. Huh. Extremely rabid. Wow. Shared psychotic disorder. Shows a particularly strong possibility of influencing close companions. <clears throat> hmm. Anyone who's going to contact the patients must be made to understand that the patients are under medical treatment and must be warned not to be influenced by the patient's delusion. Which those who are likely to be easily influenced are the patient's family members, people who care deeply about the patients, such as boyfriends or girlfriends, and my bar at Keiichi. Wow! Okay. We didn't get to read the lunch order this time, though. So. That about sums this up so far. She's actually being stalked. Parasites.
They did, but apparently they aren't the ones responsible for the uh, yearly killings. It just become a regular occurrence to them. And was convenient to them, but yeah. Because it never hit the news, of course. Sure did. How is Renna getting all this? Is she having those nightly? phone calls with the Ishii? Wow. Wow. So me on it. A badass. Hmm. Although I could see Takano's death being a possibility. A possible, possibly responsible. My words are failing me, but. Possibly the fault of the Sonozaki Syndicate. You sure are playing a dangerous game. <clears throat> yep. That's the same thing that uh, drew the ire of the village in Onikakushi when Keiichi did it. I don't think... There's the talk of the parasite that's in Ta Takano scrapbooks, and then there's the... that lunch... memo thing for the mental hospital. Talking... 
it's so weird that they specifically mentioned parasitic parasitosis in that because how god I gotta look into some of this stuff afterwards oh I think, I have a feeling they're really trying to present this as a disease. Mental disease. The God of Marriage, that was their that was the teaching. That actually makes sense. Huh. Hence, giving the demons human forms. That's interesting. Wow. Not to let anyone in the village what? Oh, not to let anyone from outside in the village. Alright. Spread the parasite outside of it? Hmm. It certainly explain why when people left after the, the Tardigoroshi ending, they started to have an outpouring of symptoms of Oyashiro-sama's curse. Oh, man. This is really good. <laughs> 